Back to our election coverage. Congressman James Langford is going to stay in Washington, but not returning to the U.S. House. He's going to finish out Senator Tom Coburn's term. Langford defeats Democrat Connie Johnson with a strong showing 68% of the vote. Tune News reporter Nathan Edwards live at Langford's campaign party in Oklahoma City tonight. Nathan. Well, in the last hour, I had a chance to speak with now Senate-elect James Lankford, and he says he's very excited about tonight's win, but he's more excited now about the road ahead. Now, once he takes his seat, he plans on addressing budget issues, trying to reduce the deficit. He spent the last four years on the Budget Oversight Committee, and he plans on continuing his role in the Senate. Tonight, he also says he's going to focus on energy issues, something that's very important to the state. Finally, he plans on taking Oklahoma, taking the Oklahoma mentality to his new seat in the Senate. Uh, Oklahomans are pretty conservative folks, but we're also pretty polite. We want to go after issues, get them actually resolved, but do it the right way. So I'm going to focus on trying to get the right issues done the right way to be able to honor not only our state, but also resolve the issues that we have as a nation as well. Now there are still two months until Lankford, Lankford takes over the seat of longtime Senator Tom Coburn. Until then, he says he plans on making the most of his final days in Congress. Reporting live in Oklahoma City tonight, Nathan Edwards, 2 News, works for you.